YouTube. Born again out of Luke 24. I'm going to start um, some other scriptures right before I get into the born again scriptures, okay? Uh, prophets showing, you know, constantly pointing back. Um, that's where we're starting at Luke 24, 15. It's uh, Luke 24, it's also the Great Commission. Um, you know, you got Matthew 28, Mark 16, Luke 24. Those are great commission. They all, they all are pointing back to John 3, which points back to Acts 2:38. Okay, but uh, let's go on. Uh, Luke 24:15, and it all came to pass that while they communed together in reason, Jesus Himself drew near and went with them. Um, skip into verse 19, um, and He said unto them, What things? And they said unto him, Concerning Jesus of Nazareth, which was a prophet mighty, mighty indeed in word before God and all the people. See, so they're looking at Jesus as a prophet. I can send the other videos. Um, verse 25, Then he said unto them, O fools and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. You know, it's funny how God, Jesus called them fools. Uh, verse 27, uh, and beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them all, in all the scriptures that said things concerning himself. Okay? You know, people confuse uh, salvation. They're saying we got salvation because of this, this, and that. Well, Jesus says the scriptures are talking of him. Okay? But uh, that's a different Bible study. I'm not going to go there right now. Verse 31. And their eyes were opened, and they knew him. And he vanished out of their sight. 32. And they said one to another, Did not our heart burn within us while he talked with us by the way, and while he was and while he opened to us the scriptures? Jesus was beginning to open their understanding. Okay? That's what good teachers do. They open your understanding. Especially if they're anointed. Um verse thirty nine. Okay, I'm not going to go in there. I'm going right into the Great Commission. Okay, because this, this uh, study is about being born again. Verse 44, And he said unto them, these, these are the words which I spake unto you. This is Jesus talking. While I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the Law of Moses, and in the Prophets, and in the Psalms concerning me. Then he opened their understanding, that they might understand the Scriptures. And said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behooved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day. This is all after, uh, this is all post resurrection. I mean, this is, you know, this is him resurrected there. I mean, he spent 50 days with these guys teaching him in his resurrected body after he died, okay? And notice he's saying, Thus it behooved Christ to suffer. Verse 46, he's acting like it's somebody else, okay? There's meanings to all this stuff. You'll pick it up later. Verse 47. And that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name. Again, he's saying his name like he's somebody else, but he's talking about himself. Okay? Repentance and remission of sins directly references Acts 2.38. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins. See? The preachers think it's the water is a natural thing. It's not natural. It's part of the new birth spiritual experience. And if you don't do it, you're going to miss out. And you probably won't make it. Because I only see maybe one loophole. Not being uh, born again. Maybe getting in heaven. But I don't, you know, I'm, I don't put any stock in that. I put in stock in all these thousands of scriptures. I find out that you have to be born again of water and spirit. Or you ain't going. Okay? That's why I'm making these videos so people can understand this. It's, this is dead serious stuff, folks. This ain't no joke. I'll read it again. And that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. What is remission of sins? You have to get baptized in Jesus' name for the remission of sins. See? The Great Commission. In Matthew 28, Mark 16. Um, I'm not sure about John. I I can't remember. It's been so long since I studied all this stuff. And But uh, I'll find out if I could find... John's loaded with this stuff. But I'm not sure just about the Great Commission thing. You know what I mean? But uh, it, it's probably in there somewhere. I have to dig it out. But we'll see. And ye are witnesses of these things. Verse 49. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you.
but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. What's the promise of the Father? It's the Holy Ghost, the Spirit born again from above. Okay? Agion, I think, is the Greek word. Enion or something like that. Born from above. Most preachers know that. Some do. Some don't. Whatever. Uh, upon you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem. What, what did they do? Okay? Right? Right when he said this, these are, this is the last word of Christ before he ascended, right? And, and he was gone. And, and, and now, Acts 1.1, 1, 1, he... One eight, he talks through uh, the Holy Ghost, kind of like a, not a cell phone, but you know what I mean. He's not here in the body. He's talking through the Spirit, okay? That's why they had to give themselves continually to prayer and the ministry of the Word. If you're a preacher and you're getting ties, and you ain't praying hours a day, man, you're, you're going to miss it. I, I don't see how these people make heaven. I, you know, any, uh, uh, let me get off that. So, Verse 49, Behold, I sent a promise to my Father. Okay? So they tarried in Jerusalem ten days, praying, fasting too. And then the Holy Ghost fell, right? X 2 4. And he all began speaking in other tongues as the Spirit gave the utterance. So you see, in uh, the Great Commission is all about X 2, okay? Which was fulfillment of John 3, okay? So you see, I'm just pointing all this stuff out. It's Like I said, it's loaded. It's everywhere in the Bible. Unrefutable. You know. So, God bless you. Um, yeah, repentance is covered in 47. Remission of sins, which is baptism, is covered in His name. Verse 47, verse 49, the Spirit infilling. From, it's all covered right there. So, I think I did okay. Um, I think that's it as far as the uh, born-again stuff in here. Okay, born-again, Luke 24. God bless you.